YouTube, real quick before this video starts, uh, make sure to check out gfxcomment.com, our website, our store. Uh, we have a lot of free templates, um, GFX packs, products you guys can uh, download. Uh, we got UI interfaces if you are a developer and you want um, this uh, quick UI, you could add it right into your game. Here it is, so check it out. YouTube, welcome back to a new video. And, um, Today, in this one, we have a tutorial. Today, I want to show you guys how to make a uh, item stats UI. Um, you can use this for anything you want, or you could just take these techniques. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get right into it. I'm going to start off right here to the rounded rectangle tool right here. The radius, I think, 5 should work. Uh, fill color. I'm using this color right here. It is F4, F6, F8. So I'm gonna hit OK and just uh, drag a box like this. Now you can't see it very well yet, but I'm just gonna move it right here. Now uh, let's right click, blending options. Let's add a drop shadow so we can actually see this box. go all right all right now let's go to our text tool right here and uh make my color black uh type right here and i'm just gonna put item name like that i'm just gonna scale this accordingly i don't want it too big um one of the mistakes i see people make is they make their text too big like this it just <laughs> it doesn't look right so scale it accordingly like that and uh, now I'm gonna change the text color to this blue um, the code is 012047 you can use that uh, the font I'm using Roboto Roboto now we're gonna copy our text so I'm gonna control J to copy, move it down, and right here, uh, we're gonna hit Control A, change the alignment to center, move it back, and right here, we're gonna type a uh, description of the item. So, uh, item description goes here. Now we hit Control A, um, make the font size smaller. Let's go for maybe 15, and right here, we change the color to something like this. Change from bold to medium, and I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so now I'm just going to grab this icon. Uh, <laughs> this is not my design so I'm not going to take any credit I'm just using this as an example a placeholder for this video so yeah just want to make that clear all right so we got this all right I'm just gonna place this somewhere I'll say like right here all right now let's uh, make a new layer let's go back to our rounded rectangle tool and uh, let's hold shift and alt let's drag out a box all right, this is where our icon is gonna go. Let's double click, and let's make this color slightly darker like that. And I also want to readjust our um, main shape right here. So, here we go. Uh, what you can also do is right here make a new layer right click create clipping mask use your brush tool color is black just gonna paint up here lower the opacity all right uh, item name text control T hold alt scale down right here you can include level 5 for the weapon level all right so like right here 
and you could also include a rarity. So we do rare and uh, make this blue. So for rare, um, a little circle. So use the ellipse tool. Reason for this, just a little icon indication. None special. Now I'm gonna copy the little five text. Right here, I'm gonna put some numbers. I'm gonna go, or right, now go back to your random rectangle tool, make a new layer, radius, let's bump this up now to 55. I'm gonna drag out, I'm gonna drag this shape out like this. Just grab our rulers, make sure it's aligned. There we go, and right here, change the color so it is barely visible like that now let's copy it control J uh, blending options gradient overlay normal angle is on zero double click double click right here let's go for blue it's a very dark blue like that it's okay control um, let's go control T Scale it down, let's go halfway. <laughs> this number is actually too big, let's go for... Let's go for some of those 500 out of 1000. Now with this bar, um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna control J to make a copy. I'm gonna hide the previous one. So I'm saving that for, for a backup. Now this one, I'm gonna hit right click, rasterize, rasterize layer style. All right, now I'm gonna hit Control U, change the color to a nice green color, like that. Now, uh, if you Control, if you hit Control, if you hold Control, click on this one, Control G, make a group, and this will be your EXP. There you go. If you want to, you can. I guess you can do this if you want, or you move like right here. About 500, about this, and a thousand. So level up. It is up to you um, how you want to achieve this right here. All right, now for stats, um, let's take this again, copy this, Control J, and take this right here, move this down. And now control J to copy, control J to copy, right click, copy layer style for this gradient thing, right click and paste. And right here. So for this one, um, let's make this one red actually. that let's copy this text damage left side alignments damage is 78 this right here actually right here I'm put experience and put 500 out of a thousand that's better. Uh, you got damage, um, group these up, damage, if you hold alt and shift and drag down you can make a copy of that very easily, damage and let's go for speed, or actually, yeah let's go for speed, <laughs> um, too lazy to change these bars but obviously you can, but obviously you could that so I guess speed is weight like uh, how heavy it is I guess we could have defense all right once you're good with those you could rasterize these bars control U to change the color um, there you go it's for speed I'm gonna do I'm gonna go for yellow for speed Alright, those are these stats, and uh, right here, 
we're gonna do run a rectangle radius maybe do try 10 Euler actually let's go for five button all right let's go right click bunny options radio overlay nice red button change the angle to 90 just like that let's go ahead and copy some text right here let's put so that So and copy this over. Here's the equip. Change this to blue. And now we got two buttons. Perfect. Alright, finally, let's add ellipse. You layer. Let's go for a circle. Let's go for a button right here. Let's make it red. Um, <laughs> take the cell text and let's make it an X. So we got an X button. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is how it would look on a dark background. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, I'm kinda tired today, so this one kinda took a while. Nonetheless, I got better videos coming soon, so that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time.